So, okay, that's a lot of action. Let's save it and close it and check it out. And we're going to go to the tab to the right. Notice how easy it was to enter that into the system, just like scanning your stuff at a grocery store. If it was a self-checkout, you could do it yourself, but there's so much stuff going on because we set up the accounting system so well that it just does it automatically. So then we're going to go down here and say that we've got payments to deposited went up just like we said it would, just like I said it would, 2000 310 by the full amount here that's by the full amount am i right am i right yeah so then going back and then i'm going to go back and then the other sides on the profit and loss the p to the l and it went into the product and service income boom and then we've got the two line items so there they are but it went in by the sales amount not including the sales tax scrolling back up back to the form the other side's on the balance sheet again it's in the sales tax which we're paying to california department and so on you know those people over there that make us pay us paying protection money five percent for protection money i got robbed just last week dang it these people and they're still charging me this protection money whatever anyways the other side's going to go into inventory if i go into inventory it went down and so we've got these amounts here for the sales receipt that we made in the inventory multiple line items because it's using the first in first out inventory method i believe and then we're going to go back and then the cost of goods sold tab to the right cost of the goods sold also impacted let's just go into the total here cost of goods sold there are those the net impact on net income is the change in the revenue change in the revenue and the change in the cost of goods sold net impact on gross profit therefore is that as well as the net operating income okay so let's also go back to the balance sheet and look at the inventory asset just to see that there's a sub ledger tracking by units not just by dollars tab to the right right click let's duplicate it and check that out and so i'm gonna make another tab to do that and then go to the reports on the left hand side I'll close up the boogie and type in inventory just to look at the inventory valuation summary as of 022823 run it to refresh it so now we've got the units of inventory the asset value it comes out to 7938 does that tie out to what's on the BS balance sheet 7938 it does you're dang right it does I don't know why I got upset all of a sudden 